This is the homework for lesson seven. It's module eight of grade two. Get your name on there first. Solve the following puzzles using your tangram pieces and draw the solutions in the space below. Now it really helps to use a straight edge, like the, you know, just the edge of an envelope or a credit card, or uh, I'm using uh, a card that's uh, from uh, an appointment for my dog to, to go to the vet. I have a card for that. Or your library card, you know, an ID card, something like that will work fine. A ruler is great, but sometimes they're long and they're a pain to work with. But something that will draw a straight edge, uh, to draw a straight line. And use the two largest triangles to make a square. It really, you really have to have the puzzle pieces. For this if you have pay, uh, a paper page that you can cut out the shapes then do that and definitely use them because it, it can be really difficult to figure out how to draw these unless you can see them you have to solve the puzzle first before you can draw the picture the answer right and you really don't want to skip the fun part of actually solving the puzzle That's how you put them together to make a square. And then you use the two smallest triangles to make a square. And that's going to look like every other square you've ever seen. Because all squares are really the same. They're just some are smaller and some are, some are small and some are large. But they all have, and well, that's really kind of a crummy look. They all have, uh, four straight equal sides and four straight corners. So they really kind of all look the same. Except for their sizes. So I'm um, for this one, I'm just going to, I found it easier to draw the square. And then draw the line, draw the diagonal line that shows where the two triangles meet each other like that. Use the two smallest triangles to make a parallelogram with no square corners. So you have to think about this one, play with them a little bit, move them around. I'm, that's what I'm doing with mine right now. I don't know if you can hear the paper. And okay, I just figured it out. So if I take one of them and the square corner is here. Right, because they have the sides are these are um, isosceles triangles because, and I didn't really draw an isosceles triangle here because this side should be longer. Let's see, that goes to about there. That's about you know the pictures are not going to be perfect. They just aren't. So you try to get them to come out and just do your best. There we go. So that's one of them. And the square corner would go here for that triangle. And then the other one, I'm going to have this, I'm going to put it here. It's going to be, there's the square corner there. So the long side goes up here. And there's our parallelogram. And now use the two smallest triangles to make one larger triangle. I'm going to do that like this. And actually when they go together, they're going to make a larger right triangle. When you put them together like this, they make a larger triangle. I know those pick those don't look like they're the same triangle because um, 
this side actually it should be only about that long so if I did this maybe I can fix it and get it to come out there just clean it up a little bit try it doesn't have to be perfect don't try to make it perfect just make it just try to solve it first with the puzzle pieces and then try to draw a picture of the pu of the puzzle that you solve so how many equal shares do the larger shapes in parts a through d have how many equal shares well um in a which is this one here there's one two equal shares in part b there's two equal shares again in part c you're using two equal triangles and part d you're using two equal triangles so they all have two equal shares how many halves make up the larger shapes in all of those parts so each one has how many halves well each each triangle you know in this each triangle in this square is half of the square each triangle in this square is half of the square. Each triangle in this parallelogram is half because they're equal. They're halves. And there's, because they're equal and there's two of them, they're halves. So that's what you need to have. So like how many halves are there? There's two of there's two halves for all of the shapes. Two equal shares, two, and they're both halves for each one. So circle the shapes that show halves. Here we have two equal halves. That's one of the examples that we had for D. It's the same one, right? And then... Uh, this one here is like just like C, except this made a, that one there made a, uh, a rhombus. Now this has two equal parts, but they're not equal parts, right? Because this one is way bigger. So don't circle that one. And this hexagon looks like it's got, it's like two of those red pattern blocks, the trapezoids put next to each other. So th this one is definitely equal to that one so i'm going to circle that so those are two pieces two parts and they're equal so they're halves and now it says examine this trapezoid okay i'm looking at it how many equal shares does a trapezoid have well these are all these are all equal aren't they because there's a triangle and a triangle and here's an upside down version of the same triangle so they're they're all the same and there's three of them so it's three equal shares how many thirds are there three because each one would be one third. One third. Three. Circle the shapes that show thirds. So three equal parts is what you need for thirds. Uh, this one has three equal rectangles, so those are thirds. Now with this trapezoid, these may look like they're the same, but keep in mind that like down here, the shape, this part, is longer than this part here so that this this one is actually shorter than this piece so those are not equal and with this one this is just like the pattern block hexagon when you put the blue uh, rhombuses together to make it and so these are all like there's these are all the same rhombus there's three of them so that's thirds and now we're looking at another parallelogram and there's one, two, three, four triangles in here. They look like they're the same triangle. We'll call them equal. How many equal shares does this shape have? It's got four. I just counted them. And how many fourths are in the shape? There are four fourths. Now, you know, fourths is our unit, and we're counting. There's four of them, so there's four fourths. And now circle the shapes that show fourths. Uh, this oval doesn't work because this one here is way bigger than that piece. So they have to be equal pieces. There has to be four equal pieces, and that's not equal. Uh, this one, this hexagon here, this one works. Each of these pieces are the same. Uh, they're all equal to each other, and there's four of them, so they're fourths. And here's a rectangle, and these are four equal rectangles. So that one is... So, and let me, I drew circles here to show what I was talking about. Maybe that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. You can just exit out. If, uh, if you did that, like I did it, you just want to make sure that it doesn't look like it's circled. Cross it out to do, if, if that's what you did. Or erase the circles.